You're huge fans of Archer, and I am an anatomy buff. And yeah, of course, I like Archer too. That's why today we're going to be breaking down the episode titled Drastic Voyage Part 1 and 2. Before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff that you see here on this channel, smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. This is Dr. Zoltan Kohl. Facts. Last night in Paris, someone attempted to abduct him. A high-speed chase ended in a crash, which left him in a coma with a blood clot in his brain. Which matters because... Dr. Kovacs <laughs> has been developing a top-secret process for molecular miniaturization. Whoa, sweet. A clot in the brain most likely means that he had an epidural or a subdural hematoma, which is a blood clot formed around the brain. The concern with those is the bigger the clot gets, the more it pushes on the brain, and then you can herniate, and herniating any portion of your brain leads to bad things, potentially death. This is Dr. Kovacs's brain. This is the blood blood clot that threatens to destroy that brain, but we will destroy the clot. Ah, oh, if you have time, the patient's down on a blood thinner, you can actually do what's called a ventriculostomy. You stick a very small tubing wire after you do a burr hole and go into the lateral ventricle, which then you take some CSF out, so you allow the brain to swell a little bit more. Sometimes you actually have to take pieces of the skull off to allow the brain to swell. What are you doing? He said light the candle. Not an ear candle. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so bad. We do not do ear candling. I don't really understand the process. It's not taught in medical school. Now the submarine is in a saline solution in the syringe, which the robot will now gently transport into the surgical theater, where it will prepare to inject the solution into the cerebral spinal fluid at the base of Dr. Kovacs' skull. You're gonna inject this into the base of the skull into the cerebral spinal fluid, which actually is kind of interesting because because typically we try to stay away from that area. Anytime you're doing any ejections into the spinal fluid, usually it's down in the lumbar area, the lower back, and that's just because it's not a solid cord at that specific area. You don't want to inject it into the cord because then it can cause permanent damage. But if they have the technology to miniaturize, they probably have the technology to make sure it gets into the exact space that it needs to go into. There we go. Whoa! What? In the name of sweet Jiminy Christ, standing up for myself. Doctor, please tell me Demarius <laughs> was injected into Kovacs. It was injected into Dr. Kovacs, but not at the injection site. What? Oh. Well, then where is it? His foot. We always worry about hands and feet. You know, if somebody comes in with an infection or a cut, you actually really worry about it getting worse because it actually has poor like perfusion. It's the furthest thing away from the heart. So is the flow going to be fast enough for this injection to get all the way back up to the brain to find the blood clot in the brain in one of the major vessels? We will find out. We just have to laser our way into one of these veins here. Flurp. Blood flow will take us into the inferior vena cava, then up through the right atrium, tricuspid valve, right ventricle, pulmonic valve, pulmonary artery, into the lungs, pulmonary veins, left atrium mitral valve, left ventricle, aortic valve, aorta, common carotid artery, mm. internal carotid <sighs> artery, and then uh, I can probably find it from there. That was awesome. Good work, Archer writers. The only thing that they didn't mention related to the veins is that it's actually a low pressure system. Yes, the blood flow does go quickly. You have valves in the veins because what happens is the muscles around the veins squeeze and the blood gets squirted up. And then it's because it's a low pressure system, the blood can actually backflow. So there's valves in there that actually fold back to prevent the blood from going down. Ready on that laser? There we go. Getting into the cloud. Oh, look at those red blood cells. That is an awesome depiction. They do look like little donuts. Actually, you see the little particles that are flying around? It's probably pieces of platelets. Platelets are actually called megakaryocytes. They're actually massive cells that actually get broken up into little pieces. Okay, there's the blood clot. Fascinating. Uh, yep. Awesome. They did such a cool job of depicting a blood clot. Blood clots are made up of different type of fibrin and different other components in our body. It's just not like platelets. It's all these other things that have to like stick together. Prepare for thrombolysis. Uh, is there a knob for that or? It means destruction of the thrombus. 
thrombus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's uh, like anything in medicine, right? We have like 40 different names for the exact same thing. So yeah, so thrombus is a blood clot. All right, Archer. You have to be sure not to let the laser detach the thrombus from the artery wall. The last thing we want is an embolism. A thrombus is a blood clot. As an embolus is when the thrombus shoots off into another area. So it's the same thing, just giving a depiction of that it's gone somewhere else. No that's my third biggest fear. That's an aneurysm. Okay, fourth biggest. <laughs> an aneurysm has to do with dilation of a blood vessel, where it's like out pushes like a bubble. The big things that we are worried about, people get aneurysms in the brain. Sometimes it can weaken the wall of the blood vessel. And then if the pressure gets too high, it can rupture. Same thing in the abdomen. There's called a, an abdominal aortic aneurysm. It occurs right at or right below the renal arteries. That ruptures, you're dead. Minutes to demineralization. Oh and even less than that until we're out of oxygen. Wait, what? O2 consumption's about 12% higher than it should be. What? So they're consuming more oxygen than they planned for. They're gonna freaking run out of oxygen before they get big again. That's a big issue. They have to be careful, so they're breathing, calm down. It's leukocytes, white blood cells. Uh, they must think we're bacterium. Well, let's see how they like having a laser beam blasted up whichever part of the leukocyte is the hole. <laughs> Yes, yes, I love it. Oh my gosh. I wish I would say that at work. Neutrophils are the white blood cells that would attack bacteria. Lymphocytes would attack virus. And then there are some other actual components of the white blood cells. Remember, do not let the leukocytes touch you. They're Macrophages, yeah, got it. What's that mean? It means they'll slowly turn your entire body inside out and devour every single nice. cell. Nice, give me some macrophages. So macrophages are part of the immune system, white blood cells, but they're pretty much like non-specific. So anything that's not targeted or looked at as normal cells of a healthy human, it may just engulf it, eat it, and take it and trash it out of there. Ah! Eat that, you stupid <laughs> Will we have enough time to reach the extraction point on his tear duct? We should. From here via the optic nerve should only take 90 seconds, then another 60 to the tear duct. Super cool. They're all up in the head and they want to get out through the eye. Crazy because the optic nerve actually goes to the back of your brain, even though your eyes are in the front, and it actually crosses in the middle of your optic chiasm where it splits and it's different. That's why sometimes you have different visual field defects and then you have your ducts that come down. Super cool. Like when you tear and cry, you actually get snotty and that's because your tear ducts go down into your sinuses and then out your nose really cool okay that was the last one for now keep a lookout while i slurp the cloth slurp it you have to make sure it doesn't break free from the artery what was that sorry i couldn't hear you over the sound of me thrombolizing this out of that thrombus it looked like it embolized somewhere else unless he was able to just destroy it here comes the optic nerve now hard to starboard. There's the tear duct. Tear duct. Get Hold out. Over. One minute. Holy sh We're gonna make it. We're approaching the eyeball. 30 seconds. Go, go, get go, out of here. Go, 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 go. Three, two, one. Begin diminutrization. Oh! <laughs> what happened? Huh. Guess we didn't make it. Wow. So is there a steakhouse around? Wow. All that work and they didn't make it. Oh, man, they were so close. Uh, I was thinking that the ship was gonna basically enlarge in the hallway. Nope, just exploded out of the doctor. Let me say this episode was epic. This was awesome. I loved the anatomy. I totally geeked out on it. I hope there's more episodes or more anatomy like this in Archer. If you guys liked me reacting to this episode of Archer, you're definitely gonna like this playlist, so check it out. And as always, please make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, like, 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 and thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.